What's going on guys, it's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video and in today's video I want to go through my Iron Banner loot. Now this past week I have been real busy and if it wasn't for real life it's been playing other games. Now as much as I do sometimes enjoy playing Crucible, I don't enjoy it enough to change plans I've already made. But I knew I wouldn't have time to run this every day so what I did was I logged in on my Hunter every day and picked up the Iron Banner bounties. Normally if I was short on time I'd do this on all characters and dedicate a few days to it but this time around I only stacked them up on my main character that being my Hunter and just played yesterday for a few hours and this alone took me to a rank 5 pretty easy to be honest allowing me to pick up two Iron Banner packages, one for rank 3 and one for rank 5. But before we get into the contents of these packages, let me show you guys the few after game rewards I received. Okay so first I got the Iron Companion Vest, which is a chest armour which offered 288 defence, offering 67 intellect and 68 strength. Mods were increase the amount of hand cannon ammunition you can carry and increase the recovery for 5 seconds after taking solar splash damage. To be honest I ain't sure on the design of this piece, with some shaders though it just looked real badass but with others it looks standard. Mods could have been better also, defence I ain't really bothered about as I have so many pieces I can infuse it doesn't really matter. The other end of game reward I received was the Rutomart Stand. This is the new Iron Banner Heavy Machine Gun. This bad boy dropped offering Solar Burn with 282 attack. Mods were quick unassisted kills with this weapon, reduced melee and grenade cooldown, and kills with this weapon while critically wounded have a chance to start regenerating health. Okay, so moving on to the two packages I received. From the rank 5 I received a free 10 ghost shell, 4 strange coins and 4 morts of light. From the rank 3 package I received an artifact, 4 strange coins and 4 morts of light. The artifact being a rare often 310 defence and 96 discipline. The ghost shell looks amazing but unfortunately its defence value is lower than my current ghost shell. But still a 310 is I suppose alright. Now I was really hoping for the harm to be honest, but I'll just have to wait until next time for that. The ghost shell offered 31 discipline and 29 strength mods, detects and marks nearby relic iron formations and generates additional doing that when killing titans in the crucible. I also brought the gauntlets from Lord Saladin, the iron I'm companion strong. sleeves. Now all I need is that helmet for the full set, but like I said I will just have to wait until next month for that. But yep guys, that is the Iron Banner loot I received, I'm just one of my characters. Let me know what you guys got, and did you rank up all three of your characters to that rank 5? Let me know. Also tell me your thoughts on it being clashed this time around as the game type. Me personally, I do prefer control, but I didn't mind Clash to be honest. What and which do you prefer and tell me why down below in that comments section. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, do drop a like, I do appreciate the support, subscribe for Daily Destiny, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out until next time. Peace! Busted through the rough, the kicked over the building. Before we hit the ground, a younger hero flew around. They put it on his shoulders. Say you're naive now, but believe, you'll believe me when you're older. Every asteroid you stop and bomb, you fly up in the space. You ain't saving them from danger, you keep in danger safe.
y'all on YouTube every damn day. Watching these vids of the brand new games. Vid after vid, many y'all the same. That's why you gotta go and find DPJ. Testing these gameplays, weekly snipes. Heavy uploads gonna have you a hype. Started in the UK, now he's worldwide. DPJ, go and subscribe.